I'm Saul Villegas. I'm a consumer service web specialist. I'm giving a first party title and write the strategies and walkthrough for the entire game that we then later put on PlayStation.com. The coolest part of my job is getting my hands on some of these first party titles or games. Like every time a Gran Turismo comes out, I'm playing that before the public. We were just checking out the underground demos at work and we had like a marketing group just kind of telling us about like the underground demo discs, like with the content inside them and all that. And I remember one issue, there was cool moves and people were asking about that, like, hey, we talk to customers all the time. This is what they want. So uh, basically came back to us and said, hey, if you have any cool moves for any games that you can think of, we'll film them and we'll put them on a disc. <laughs> One time uh, I was playing SSX and I came up with a cool move. It was on one of the tracks. It was like a shortcut, but I was nervous when I got there because it was one of my first cool moves to ever do. And I started stuttering a lot and just even more nervous because I was realizing a lot of people were watching me in the room, like the camera crew and stuff. And it just got to the point when like, the camera crew just wanted to wring my neck. With all that pressure there, it just finally I just pulled it off. <laughs> I just play a lot of games and I always keep in the back of my head like if anything arises in this game that I think is cool or difficult to do, that will stick in my head and I'll like make a save at that point in the game and you know maybe later on when I'm asked if I want to do another cool move, I'll go back to that game and see if I can replicate it and kind of you know make the judgment call, is this really a cool move or is this something that just anybody can do and it's not that difficult at all. The coolest move that thing I came up with would have to be for Pac-Man World 2. There's a level called like Bedoying Woods and it took you to a platform that had five or six free lives. And the whole trick is you would collect all those. You would jump off that platform and you would lose a life. It would take you right back to right before you traverse that whole path. You could just keep doing that over and over again, just collecting those free lives. <laughs> A couple years ago, I was in Boston with a bunch of friends. We ended up at a club at the end of the night, and this was a table of people that were just kind of staring, pointing at me and stuff, and I was thinking, like, what's going on here? And finally, someone came up to me and said, hey, are you Saul? And then, you know, kind of came out, like, oh yeah, you know, you're on the OPM, and we see you all the time, we think you're really cool, and it's just really funny. <laughs> someone sent me a link to this message board with all these people commenting on me. And there was some stuff that was pretty funny, like it was a lot of positive stuff. It was very flattering. You know, there were some critics out there, but I just take it, you know, all in stride. I thought it was funny. That's like my main goal is to actually create a game one day, have it developed. Basically what I envision is a game that takes a fighting game genre type game and mixes in with a role playing game. I've never seen that before. You can go on adventures and dungeons and whatnot, level up your characters, go online, fight other people with your characters that you had in dungeons or whatnot. I'll have that whole fighting element with punching and kicking, every button on the controller, combinations. That's definitely the type of game I would like to see. Basically what I would say to the public or people that watch the cool moves is if you don't like the cool moves or you think I could do a better one, submit one in, right into the underground. Tell them about your cool move. You might be surprised, they might actually put it in there. I know they've done that in the past. <laughs>